All right, so should you or should you not join the summer internship in Dubai? You're gonna find out right now, okay? Um, however, students allege that many companies are making them work long hours without any pay or asking them to work in positions outside of their study area. So we're gonna get a definition and because these people look to prey on um, unexperienced people that are desperate to move ahead, but you shouldn't be manipulated. Watch this. Let's get the definition of a plantation and then we're gonna compare it to an internship, unpaid internship. Okay, definition of a plantation. Plantations can be defined as large forms, kind of like in Dubai, guys. All right, keep watching. Uh, use the enforced labor of the people that didn't wanna work to harvest cotton, rice, indigo, sugar, tobacco, and other foreign produce for trade and export. Now, hold on. You might say, well, David, that was forced. An internship is, um, <laughs> is voluntary, but guess what? It's still unpaid, and they were still manipulated to do what they did. They wouldn't have did what they did if they weren't manipulated. Now, let's come over here. Let's check out this. All right, it says unpaid internships are non-paid, non-permanent work experiences that enable an individual to participate and observe a professional work environment. Now let's come back over here to the article. So does it allow you to observe? It says, however, students allege that many companies are making them. Oh, don't that sound familiar? It says forced labor of, of the people that didn't want to work, okay? I'm saying that because I ain't trying to get demonetized, okay? So look, they receive a lot of applications and they pick the most de desperate people out of the ones uh, that, they, that they review. And it's dark and it's late, it's, well, it's actually super early here. But anyway, all right, interns me, a UAE's largest internship job website received more than 17,000 applications just this year from students who are looking for internship opportunities. What happens when these companies are taking advantage of students who are desperately, so that's what I wanted you to see, desperately. So welcome to Epa Job University where we teach you to reveal your passion so that you can cash and you can book a one-on-one -on -one session with us today and we will help you take what you already know. You don't have to do an internship, what you're already good at, and we will show you how to monetize it within a week's time, and you can have a full come in, in, uh, income that way, okay? That way you're safe, nobody's abusing you, nobody's like forcing you to do labor. This is 2021, and they had to figure out how to make it a smarter way. They couldn't just call it the plantation anymore. So jobs, or the new plantation. You're like, well, David, but but jobs pay us. Compared to what they make from your labor, it's still nothing. It's like them throwing a grain of rice in your in your hand. Even if they pay you $50 an hour, you have to realize in order to be able to pay you that, they have to get a gigantic return. So it's nothing. It's literally nothing. There's so many loopholes and grants that will allow people to pay you uh, something, some chump change compared to what you're actually worth, okay? So I just wanted you guys to see that. All right, so now we go. It says, um, we spent a lot of time vetting the companies who come aboard with us and making sure uh, to host quality jobs because the safety of our community is the of utmost importance, he said. Please, a lot of these agencies that get you hooked into doing these internships, they get super table up under the money, man. They do not care about anybody. Okay, so it says everyone who is participating in a workforce in some way can approach the a UAE, Ministry of Human Resources and whatever that is, and file a complaint or communicate any mistreatment that they may be facing. If anyone is caught in a tough situation with supervisors uh, and if there are no possible resolutions, then he or she should approach the M-O-H-R-E, whatever that is, okay? Students encouraged. Legal experts are encouraging students to approach the Ministry of Human Resources, blah, 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 if they feel they are being exploited at their internship. Well, are they being exploited? It sounds like it if uh, they're taking advantage of students who are desperately seeking internship experiences if they know that you want to work for one of the biggest companies in the world. This is a way for people to leverage you and get free labor and everything, internships like that. All right, so we had an internship, but we 
helped you work on your business while you were working with us. And we only sit you in something that you're actually doing in your business. So you start earning immediately in your business as you learn. That's why it's called earn as you learn with us. Okay. So there's no such thing as forced or, or, or a free labor type situation. If an intern is employed in a company officially, with the registered contract and labor permit under the youth or student category, his labor rights will be more important compared to other labor categories. So basically with an internship guys, you have to remember is no guarantee <clears throat> is no guarantee that you're going to get hired. Okay. There's no guarantee that you're going to get hired with an internship. So you can go in there and get all the experience you want to, uh, but most of you guys are getting the experience for a company that you want to, and you don't have any other leads to get hired anywhere else. Well, if that's the case, you just wasted six months to a year, however long it is. And that sucks. You know what I'm saying? Like that sucks. You could have been just, you could have took some kind of quick trade course. It's trade schools where you can get a quick skill. You can go to the link in the description and book an appointment and we'll teach you how to reveal your passion, something that you already know how to do, whether you're a good cook, whether you uh, design clothes, whether you're an artist, we'll teach you how to monetize that so that you're actually free. Okay. Students say they feel betrayed during internship. One former intern, Mike, whatever that is, spoke to Kale uh, Kalege Times about his tragic experience during an internship in Dubai. All right. The Dutch expat said he was given an opportunity in quotes to intern for a radio station. So they lure you in with your dream job, but you guys got to understand there's only a small percentage of people that's going to get into these positions. So after they're done profiting off of thousands and thousands of your guys' free labor and just calling it an experience, your experience doesn't matter because you're not going to get hired anywhere, anything going away, right? Okay, so they might hire uh they might hire three people out of a hundred that sucks what about those other 97 people what are you going to do go back to mcdonald's all right so where he would get to learn about the broadcasting industry but work at the same time little did he know that the firm was looking for people who could do secretarial work with absolutely no pay so he wasn't even learning about uh <laughs> working in the radio industry like so he went out there and didn't even get the experience that he was promised and still freaking works for no money. That's freaking crazy. Getting to the location, being handed surveys and being told we would be manning the radio booth purely for promotional purposes with no actual radio equipment present felt like a blatant betrayal, especially because we were told the idea and the brand that we would get to see the inner workings of a radio station, he says. So they talk to you from the outside, inspire you, encourage you, and let you know that it's going to be your dream come true. And you're like, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you apply to these unpaid internships, you know? And ugh, it could be a nightmare, man. So we were a group of six and kind of laughed it off and got to work since we figured it still counted towards our grades it was a pretty bad experience all right which left a lasting negative impression on us another student Ahmad was offered an internship at a marketing firm all right as a marketing major he thought the apprenticeship would stand out on his resume however he was tricked by the firm into doing free work and that's what it is guys it's just a modern day plantation an internship jobs period or modern day plantations. Even back in the day when we were so-called emancipated, when they lured you back into working on the same plantation that you ran away from, they might give you a nickel or 25 cent in a bag of freaking rice from being out there from sun up to sun freaking down and you supposed to last on that with your family for a freaking week or something, right? So it's the, exactly the same thing now only is the money is inflated. So don't think, oh, well, I make my, I got a car. I got them. And they'll give you a horse back then or a mule or something. And you think you're really doing it. It's nothing compared to being in the big house. Y'all understand? So you need your own big house. You need to reveal your passion in order to cash in. And that's what we do at Epijob University. Okay.
F a job, baby. Say it. Say it in the comments. I want you to say it in the comments. All right. So I was mostly doing customer service at the company and wasn't learning anything about marketing. You can learn marketing in the description. They were short staff. So maybe they were looking for a affordable or in my case, free labor. Companies need to stop using interns to do work that someone else should be getting paid to do as a full-time employee. He said, I was working from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Those are, listen guys, if somebody is asking, now I can see if you're doing some volunteer stipend type, uh, quick two hour watch the store while I leave out type gig, and while you're in college or or something like that and they pay you in food or something i don't know but this is different this dude was working all of these people were working six hours i mean not six hours from nine to five that's a full-time job from nine to five that's a full-time job there's no way in hell you should be going there for months and working and calling it an experience and he got tricked they didn't even pay these people you know what I'm saying? And he didn't even get to learn what he was there to learn, you know? So uh, let's reveal your passion. I want you guys to go ahead and make an appointment right now. The number is in the description of this video. You can text it. Do not go to an internship. Do, you do not need to acquire very much new skill. You can take whatever passion that you already have, or you can take whatever skill that you already have. We can pull one out of you. That's why we want to get you on a consultation. We can pull a, a skill out of you, something that you're good at, and we can teach you how to monetize it within a week's time, guaranteed. So go to the link in the description and I will help you avoid becoming a, a free labor professional, okay? So if you're new to the channel, do a gently sidekick to the like button. I would love to see you guys in the next one.